John, 0-0 draw at the Valley, what's your take on it? I think that when we, we dust ourselves off, I actually straight after the game, I think we feel disappointed that we haven't come away with all three points. I think the performance probably merited it and we created a few chances, particularly towards the back end of the game. But overall, I think a hard fought point. We've kept a clean sheet away from home and I think we have to make sure that, much like we did against Oxford when we drew away from home, the message in the dressing room was to make sure that when we played Northampton the, the following Saturday that we followed it up with a win at home at Fratton. That's the most important thing. So these points away from home, I think they become good points if you go and win the next game. And we've got that task on our hand next week. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking forward to that. And, yeah, I, I, yeah the, the natural reaction is to be disappointed with the way that the game went as well. But uh, I think overall it's, it's been a pretty decent day. What did you say to the players at half-time after a fairly even first 45? It's more tactical than anything else. I thought Charlton pressed really well and caused us a few issues. And uh, the way they played is quite difficult to play against so we just wanted to make sure that we were probably a bit braver on the ball and then we had to compete we had to make sure we competed when the ball dropped down and we do win it we have to show a bit of composure which we did and when we did that I thought we created quite a few chances uh, probably not quite as many as we'd like to and we slashed at a couple of clearances that caused us issues in the second half as well uh, but yeah that was that was the message really I couldn't really fault any of the lads in terms of their effort levels, um, that's what obviously the minimum we should expect anyway, but I thought physically we stood up to the challenge, I thought we um, you know, ran ourselves into the ground, and I think if we just add a bit more quality in certain areas then we win games. If you're not going to get the, the three points, is that exactly what you want to see in terms of determination and, and intensity and, and effort levels as well? Yeah, and I've been in that situation as a player many, many times where you, you come away from home and you sucker punch towards the end there's a set piece or you just switch off from a throw or one of those long balls I thought that Charlton spanned down the channel and worked us really well if you switch off your concentration for one second you can end up losing the game 1-0 so from that point of view really really pleased that we didn't obviously the clean sheet and building on that is a really important thing for us to do and of course we're, we're greedy so we want more at the other end of the pitch weren't quite able to get that clinical touch despite having a fair few chances across the course of the game so what do you put that down to? It's just one of those things, I think. We, for the most part, over the past few weeks, have been very good at putting the ball in the back of the net, so it's not like it's a huge concern at the moment. One of the things that I think towards the back end of the last season and early this season as well, we a couple of nil-nil draws and we thought, OK, we need to be a bit more creative in the final third. We're not testing the goalkeeper enough, but today I thought we created plenty and I know the side and, and the sort of calibre of players that we've got in there all put those chances away more often than not. What were your thinking behind the changes you made in the second half? Well, we just wanted to be a bit more attacking and, and go for the game. And there was, we've got options in terms of what we can do off the bench. And there's that probably straight, straight swap Cassini for Colby. But I, I don't, I didn't think that that would make us. Um, I thought it would, you know, you bring different type of player on the bench. But having two centre forwards on the pitch whilst keeping our shape, I thought it was a brilliant thing for us to be able to do. And then Miles just added those fresh legs as well. Uh, so that was that, that. was it really. We just were looking at trying to win the game and, and bringing attacking substitutions on. And obviously, we nearly did it. Just finally, a word on the supporters today, more than 3,000 of them in the away end. Yeah, amazing support and I think the, the supporters have shown their appreciation obviously towards the back end, just probably in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of everything that we tried to do today and it didn't quite come off, but um, you know, really pleasing. First of all, that we, we didn't lose the game and we can hear at the end there's, there's massive appreciation both ways and for the next 11 games the, the fans are going to be hugely important.